welcome back first let me just close that dart file from here and now we are on the man dart dart as you guys can see now simply from this video we will be working right on the poly line between two points or let's say between different points so I'll show you how to just draw a polyline right in the Google map so first of all come here right at lib right click and then create a new directory and we will give the name as my poly line okay press enter now come here and click on this directory polyline okay and create a new dart file right in the polyline we will give the name as my polyline in here we will have a startful widget so write st now we will simply just give the name as my polyline and we don't need this key simply double this from here click upon that as you guys know already import the library material dot dot now we will copy that specific name my polyline copy that go to where the man dot dot in here remove that polygon okay my polygon remove that and paste the my polyline in here press it with it click upon it import the library so now we are good to go now let's go towards the my polyline dot dot here we are back again now we will simply just refresh the or let's say reload the app for now on there's a totally empty screen as you guys can see because right in this my polyline we have this empty container for now as you guys know already the first thing that we will do we will go towards the Google map so we have to just integrate the Google map and you guys know how to just do that but I'll show you from the start so what we will do we will go towards the home screen and from here we will just copy that Google map controller object name controller completer okay and also we will just copy that initial position that we will give to our target area right in the Google map so copy that from here to here copy it and go to where the my polyline dot dot now let's go ahead and pass that above the widget bill there you go the widget bill and above that in here you'll pass it okay now simply what I'll do I'll just import the libraries okay there we go with the libraries and the error has been gone now as you guys can see and now also we will add the markers because we will draw a polyline between two markers or let's say multiple markers so what I'll do now I'll just go to world my home screen dot dot in here as you guys can see that marker list copy that from here go to where the my polyline dot dot as you guys can see that specific dot file in here below this above the widget below past it now we will go back to where the home screen dot dot in here we will scroll down and as you guys can see that specific google map right in the scaffold widget say failure widget you will just copy that from here to here copy it and go to where the my polyline dot dot in here we will remove that container and we will have a scaffold widget in there we will pass the code now what I'll do I'll just hold it on the app and let's just see the google map there we go okay so it's working totally fine and you guys just didn't see the marker yet because we just didn't add or let's say provide the coordinates the latitude and longitude yet so we will do that right in the upcoming time first of all I'll just add a, a bar so that you guys know that we are working on this specific polyline okay so what I'll do right in the scaffold we'll say a bar a bar widget in here we'll go with the title and right after have the text widget in here and then let's say my 
polyline add the cons modifier to it control s and there we go we will just add the center title so it's gonna be then right in the center so in here what I'll do we will say center title and we will set this to true as you guys can see now control s and there we go now it's right in the center and also we'll just add the background color so it's gonna be more cool colors we will go with the red let's say it's fine like that or you can go with the cyan well just fine now let's go ahead and just create the set for the polyline okay as we did right in the previous video for the polygon so in here below that we'll say final then we say set in here we will go with a poly line and then we'll give the object name my polyline in here and then we'll just add the curly braces in here sign that and write it and semicolon since we copy paste that list for the my markers object name also we'll just create a search for that so what we will do in here we'll say set with the capital S in here and there we'll have a curly brushes okay and basically that set is a collection of objects in which each object can be occur only once so that's why in here we create that now we will scroll down and in here we will remove that from here and we'll have my markers all just good okay and it will work just fine now let us go and move ahead now we will simply just create a list for the latitude and longitude so we are gonna simply above the widget build there's a widget build in here we'll say list okay and then as a latitude longitude in here now we will just give the my points in here now simply in here assign the array and take the down from here we will provide the latitude and longitude in here so as we did right in the previous video for the polygon simply we'll go towards the google map and simply we will copy the latitude and longitude from there the coordinates and we will just provide that in here so you guys know already how you guys will just copy the latitude and longitude coordinates from the google map i'll just quickly add that in here the coordinates so i simply just add that two coordinates as you guys can see okay so if you guys want to draw the polyline between two points then simply in here you guys can have that latitude and longitude simply it will just draw a polyline between those two points okay the coordinates and if you guys want to go for uh, multiples polyline points then simply add in here more coordinates okay so i'll quickly just add more coordinates for a multiple here we are as you guys can see now above the widget bill right in here we will call upon the inner state and right in there what i'll do now i'll just have the port loop in here and then we will create an integer type variable by the name a and we're going to simply just assign zero it's going to be start from the zeroth index and then we're going to say a less than simply we will go with the total length of uh, latitude and longitude in here as you guys can see that one okay my points so simply i'll take my latitude and longitude points by the name my points in here and we'll go with the total length of it 
because it's gonna just check one by one all of the coordinates as we provide that right in here by the object name by points and simply the list of latitude and longitude in here so right after that we're gonna simply just increment that specific integer type variable a because whenever the loop will run for the first time it's gonna go for the first pole line coordinates and then simply it will just increment the value so that's why in here we just increment that and then it will go for the second round and so on then so what I'll do now in here we'll have a curly braces let's take that in here take it down like that and now in there I'll just add the markers by the name my marker there we go and simply we'll say dot add okay in here write it and semicolon and tag this down now we will provide the marker ID in here so in here we'll say marker and there we go marker ID write it and comma and tag this down then we'll say marker ID and we'll provide the specific marker ID so that we can recognize the letter more easily whenever we will test the app so in here marker ID and then as you guys know it will check one by one and it will just increment the value the specific integer type variable a and you guys can see that in here it will increment that so we have to provide that integer type variable a in here because the ID will be changed according to that so we have to provide that in here so we'll say integer type variable a in here then we'll say dot to string we'll convert that and right after that in here comma and also we'll just provide the position and the position is gonna be that specific points that we provide that in here all of it okay all of these right in the list of latitude and longitude so in here I'll just provide that we'll say my points and with a specific index and in here we'll say bracket so the index number will be changed according to that specific integer type variable a so in here we'll provide that so it's going to then change accordingly and in here comma right after that we'll say info window we'll provide that so in here we'll say info window and we'll show the specific title for that let's say something like adventure or you can just type anything whatever you want so I'll go with the adventure place okay and right after that comma in here also we'll just provide the snippet in here and then we'll say the 10 out of 10 star that is fine in here added and comma and also we'll just provide the icon so in here icon gonna be the bitmap descriptor and then we say default marker we'll go with that okay and in here just add the cons modifier so the yellow line will be gone then since it's a start of widget so we have to just call upon the set state in here it's gonna just change it dynamically and right after that we're gonna simply just add the polyline as we created above let me check that we go okay my polyline so in here we'll say my polyline there we go and then we say dot add simply add it write it and comma and take this base down in here we'll say polyline now we'll provide the polyline ID so in here polyline ID so there's gonna be our first so in here we'll just type first and write it and comma also in here I'll just take this down we'll say points and the points gonna be my points right after that comma in here take this down and we'll just provide the color for it okay specific color we'll go with the cyan that is fine and write it and remove that comma add the semicolon and all just fine now in here cons modifier as you guys know already now 
we just successfully wrote the code for the polyline and also we add the marker for it as I explained this earlier in detail okay now we will just add this right in our Google map so that we can have the access right in it so in here we'll say polylines that's second one okay polyline and in here by the name it was my polyline there we go let's call upon that in here since we get this as a set let me just check there we go okay now let's go ahead and test the app how to load the app now just zoom out and you guys can see okay there we go with our polyline between multiple points as you guys can see okay that one as you guys can see the info window adventurous place 10 out of 10 star you can simply click up here it will just move like that and it's working totally fine you guys can see that okay so that's how you guys can draw the polyline between multiple points and if you guys want to just draw it between two points so as I explained it earlier let me just show you one more time from here you guys what will do you guys simply just comment that or dial it okay I'll comment it okay and now we'll just hold to load the app as it's gonna just show you the polyline between two points just move towards here there we go okay as you guys can see that specific polyline zoom out you guys will notice it between two points okay there we go okay so it's working totally fine so that's how you guys can draw the polyline between two points and you can also go for multiple points simply you will just uncomment that okay and or to load the app for the multiple ones zoom out there we go so that's how you guys can draw the polyline so basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see you then